1968, in the United States of America, some people were protesting the war in Vietnam, smoking marijuana, taking LSD, and practicing free love. This is on America. This is a scandal. This following program is dedicated to the city and people of San Francisco, who may not know it, but they are beautiful, and so is their city. This is a very personal song, so if the viewer cannot dig it, particularly those who are not I, you need to turn on it right now. It will be worth it, if not for the sake of this song, but for the sake of your own peace of mind.
Kicking in, huh? It's not the placebo day, is it? <laughs> well, you, know, you know I'm not allowed to tell you that. <laughs> what do you think that is? It's my eye sockets. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. You had the smallest amount we could give. <laughs> oh, I feel divine. Enjoy it. You feel strong enough to fly. In a minute. <laughs> no rush. And fly he did. In fact, Ken liked this experience so much. He got himself a job there as a, an attendant. And at night, when no one was around, he'd open up where they kept the LSD, take some, and trip on his own and with his friends. Yes. In fact, after this, after spending time at this veterans hospital, he wrote a book. The book was called one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Yeah. From there, Ken formed a group of called the Merry Pranksters. Get it. <laughs> Get it. 
And that, that was just the beginning. They rode that crack, they popped that corn. Mm. They pop your corn. <laughs> Later, in Berkeley, California, there was one Osley Stanley. He was an engineer. In fact, he had a meth lab in his house. But he was brilliant with chemicals, and what he went and did is he started to produce the best LSD around. And he became friends with Ken. And he became friends with Stuart Brand. Two chairs if you split it in half, man. You should just you should distribute this, man. And make chairs out of it. I do. Downstairs at my free store. I call it an anything box. <laughs> Whoa. It's catchy. Yeah. It's gonna replace chairs in a couple of years. I like the idea. Brought you guys together to kind of just chill and talk a little bit about. Some LSD plans I got. Hold on, man. Look at that girl up there. Yeah, there's no rush. No. <laughs> oh, man. She's a fox. She's yeah. fine as wine. Man. She's got like. <laughs> five fingers and toes? Yeah. Just spend the next half hour and stare at her, and we can talk business later. Yeah. <laughs> you should distribute this stuff, man. Ah, uh, it's wild. Give it to all the kids on campus. Take it to the masses. That's the plan. I'm gonna go to the pageant, and I'm gonna start distributing it, no charge. Oh, it's like a sacrament. It is like a sacrament. Except instead of getting wet, you get wasted. What? Never mind. And so they stood there hours upon hours staring out the window at, at the foxes as they walked by. Meanwhile, in the hate, hate Ashbury, there was a group, a group called the Diggers. They were a radical community action group of improv actors. Freedom! 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 Freedom!
you're a slave to that thing you got in your bag. Let your bag go. Drop out. <laughs> you can land on me, bird. You're America. I'm gonna poop on you. <laughs> So much more beautiful now. I am free.
You'll apologize to your mother, or you'll get out of my house. You got that? I'm out. <laughs> She's out. How far is she going to get on 33 cents a gallon gas, right? I mean, she's got $2 in her pocket. We've got to help her. Oh, yeah. They need help. They need help. Let's move further. Further south. Oh, no, that would be, let's see, Iowa. I guess it's a little south. Yeah, Kansas. Straw Hat, Kansas. That's it. There's another family. A young boy, he's called Junior, but his real name is Edward. Edward Westfield. His dad, his name is Edward Senior. And it so happens on this day, Edward Junior has gotten a letter, a letter from Uncle Sam. And in this letter it says, Greetings from the United States of America. You have been drafted. you're gonna do. That's what that letter says. You're an American citizen. Oh. But I just, I didn't see it. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Are you trying to tell me that you're thinking about dodging this? Yeah. I got some friends out in San Francisco. They can take me north to Canada. It's gotta be better than here. You know I'm new. I know it. You're no son of mine. I fought in World War II. You know that? I've told you. I've told you over and over again. Oh, I've heard you all turn around. <laughs> now you get over there and you get to that draft office and you sign up like a man. Or if you don't, then you're not my son anymore. Son of a bitch. Fuck you! Your ears. 
Honey, come sit. All this God stuff. Oy vey. This is your daughter? Honey, why don't you come sit with us for dinner? I'm not a square. Well, be a circle. Have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> My old man, a regular comedian. <laughs> what? Look, your mother spent all day cooking this brisket. You should enjoy it. I don't enjoy eating meat. It's murder. Oh, oh. Everything is a fight with you, honey. Why? What is this? I don't believe in fighting. I believe in peace. Seems like you believe in fighting. That's what you're doing. You're fighting. You're not, you're not peaceful right now. You, you, Your father is right. You're coming in. You're saying uh, you don't believe in murder. I didn't want to have a fight. I just wanted... I just wanted Jermaine and I to... to be able to be together. I with the Schwarze again. Oh, oh, oh. We love each other. Don't you want to be with a nice Jewish boy? Like Lenny Lotka? <laughs> there are no, There are no nice Jewish boys. What? Is this my dog? No nice Jewish boy? You're not even trying, honey. I love Jermaine. And he thinks that, that if anybody understands the man trying to hold down a minority, it would be us. Right? Who is, who is the man? What does that mean? You You're mean the man, Dad. Okay. You're the man. I'm the man? Is that a compliment? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just don't think I belong here anymore. I mean, I'm 17, and it's, it's definitely time I headed out. <laughs> she's 17, she's going to leave the house. OK. <laughs> Who's the comedian now, right? <laughs> So it's that simple? You're just gonna laugh? We'll believe it when we see it, huh? Yeah. Who's gonna do your laundry? Yeah, who's gonna... Who, who's gonna buy you your new dresses every week? Well, maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just live off the land. And, uh -huh. and, and maybe I'll, uh, I'll wear dirty clothes and I'll sleep in the streets. Mm. Oh, honey, please don't do that. That's disgusting. Are you serious? I don't need your materialistic <clears throat> ways. <clears throat> honey, are you serious? I'm as serious as I've ever been. Sure. I probably could. Ernie, tell her. I said a bunny earlier. 
She talked about the neighbor touching it <laughs> or moving it or something, but she was kind of being, well, I don't want to get it. Not for your ears, dear. <laughs> it was just really gross. I'm sorry we didn't get you a chair again. <laughs> Do you have a vase to put it in? Honey, it's no, the lodge. Wear it behind your ear. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's not going to last very long like that. Can I have a dollar? It's I have a flower behind my <laughs> ear. <laughs> Really? 
Eddie? Um, I've got something to ask you. And, uh, I kind of had a bad day today, and I think that, uh, I gotta let her go to war. And I know I'm not going. My old man struck me again. I'm sorry, Eddie. No. You're not gonna go, are you? You're gonna stay here. I can't stay here. They'll come get me. They know where I live. You could. You could move in. We could get a... You know your mom wouldn't like that. Listen. Well, married folks can move in together. <laughs> no, uh, I was just thinking about running. San Francisco. Come on. No. I don't want to go to San Francisco, Eddie. My family's here. You do or you don't? I don't, I don't want to go to San Francisco. Why not? It's great. There's everyone's, everyone our age is there right now. Just hold me. Don't go. You smell like strawberries. You smell like straw. <laughs> and something else. Sugar. It's for the horses, but... I'm gonna pretend it's a ring. Okay. Well, I guess I I gotta ditch out for a while. So maybe tonight we can finally, you know. Right now, in this field. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 